I am Omega Pax. This is the history of the Headmaster's Transformers. Explosion on Mars. Maximus is in danger. Explosion on Mars. Maximus is in danger is the 14th episode of the Transformers, the Headmasters. It first aired in Japan on October 9th, 1987 on Nippon TV. The Autobots attempt to stop a Decepticon plot to destroy the entire planet Mars. Scorpinox unveils his latest plan to gather Decepticons by planting a series of plasma energy bombs beneath the surface of Mars and then triggering key explosions at the North and South Poles. They can create a chain reaction that will destroy the planet, releasing more plasma energy for their devilish purposes. As coincidence would have it, Spike, Daniel, Wheelie, and the train bots are currently conducting geological surveys on Mars when unusual seismic activity on the planet attracts their attention. Separating to investigate, Daniel, Wheelie, and Shikari watch as Hungar and Ripper Snapper emerge from the smoking crater and they immediately radio a report to Athena for help. The Headmasters depart for Mars in Broadside. Fortress, however, is still concerned with the mysterious Decepticon activity on planet Zarek. On Earth, Ultra Magnus orders the Technobots to join the fight on Mars, but as they depart, they are intercepted by Trypticon and Sixshot. Although Metroplex comes to their aid, they are not able to make it to Mars. Back on Mars, the Headmasters arrive in the midst of a firefight between the train bots and Predakin. As the battle rages, Wheelie and Daniel are captured by the Terracons and are taken to the Decepticons' base in the tunnels beneath the planet's surface. There, once they are imprisoned behind energy bars, they learn of the villain's intent for Mars. Daniel has an emergency beacon hidden in the Autobot symbol on his exosuit, and to hide its activation, he and Wheelie stage a fight between themselves, much to the amusement of the Terracons. That allows Wheelie to grab it and alert Spike. The Headmasters rescue the two youths, and Fortress arrives as they attempt to force the bombing coordinates from the Decepticon Headmasters. They apparently succeed when Hardhead is able to trick Skullcruncher into becoming hypnotized by a Mindwipe, but the coordinates that he gives the Headmasters turn out to be a trap. Jumping into the crater that they pinpoint, the four Autobots are trapped into a series of explosive energy coils. Chrome Dome calls out to Fortress to use the Master Sword but the commander is not mentally and physically prepared for the task, and the sword will not draw. As the explosion wrecked the headmasters below, a scream from Chrome Dome galvanizes Fortress, bringing the energies of his mind and body into harmony, and the master sword is unsheathed. However, as Fortress leaps from Battleship Maximus to incline his transformation into Fortress Maximus, the Decepticon headmasters launch a plasma energy bomb directly at him. A huge explosion follows with the power of the Master Sword and the power of the Plasma Energy canceling each other out. Drained of all of his power, Fortress plummets back to the surface of Mars as the Headmasters watch in horror.